to the Home Care Breakthrough Solutions Revenue Accelerator Program. Hey everyone, it's Greg Mazza with Home Care Breakthrough Solutions and welcome to another episode of the Revenue Accelerator Program. So today I wanna to talk to you about something related to sales and marketing, okay? This is a pretty high level strategy and when you understand how to use this in your business and you understand how to apply it into your sales and marketing efforts, it will help you convert more prospects. It will help you get more referral sources to refer to you. Um, and what am I talking about? I'm talking about overcoming false belief patterns. All right, we all have them. Every single one of us, right? What, what are false belief patterns? False belief patterns, have you ever had something that at one point in your life you believe to be true? And then through new information, through another experience, through um, seeing something on TV, or an, like another experience that happened in life that made you shift your perspective and your beliefs, right? We all have belief patterns. They're, they're based on how we grew up, our past life experiences. Everyone has them. And same thing happens in your sales and marketing efforts. So your social workers that you're calling on, they have these false belief patterns. I'll give you one that drives me insane. It's the false belief that my clients can't afford home care. Okay, so how do you know that? I'm not gonna get into the why, it just, it always <laughs> makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up, but it's a belief pattern, okay? So our job in sales and marketing is to help address these false belief patterns and to overcome them. And I'm gonna share with you high level strategy on how to do that, all right? Same thing with a potential client, right? Have you ever had an elderly client that you are, you know they need service, they inside know they need service, but there's a part of them that has this deep, deep, deep fear, deep-seated fear that by getting care in the home that they are losing their independence, that it's the beginning of the end for them. Now, I'm not saying everyone has that belief, but there are, I promise you, I haven't done this for a long time, these are some of the false belief patterns. And the reality is, is that client starts care and it enables them to do more things. They can go out and visit more uh, their friends, they can go shopping, things that they wouldn't have been able to do without having that caregiver support. So our job in sales and marketing, as you've been doing this for a while, you start to recognize patterns, you start to recognize these false belief patterns. And when you start to see a pattern of these false belief patterns, one thing that you wanna do is you want to address the myth head on. All right? Ideally, you wanna address it before they communicate it. All right? Because one of the things, especially, I'm just gonna give you the example again of, you go to see the social worker, my clients can't afford care. So I'll tell you, when you follow a sales process, like what we teach in our Rapid Referral Accelerator program, what happens is, is when you go and do the presentation, right? That is where a lot of the magic happens. So you finally get to see a referral source, you've pre-qualified them, you go and do the presentation. In that presentation, if you know one of the false belief patterns is my clients can't afford care, somewhere in your dialogue, you are going to share a story that will bust that myth. So for example, you know, let's say you're in the part of the presentation where you're talking about like different ways that clients can pay for services and whatnot. You might say, you know, I work with clients and this is a true story, right? My grandmother lived in a mobile home park. She had a son that had a lot of resources and if she needed home care and we knew about it when she was alive, he would have helped pay for it for sure. Right? I had many, many clients that lived in mobile home parks. Right? Normally you would assume someone lives in a mobile home park, probably not a lot of money. I'm telling you, your social workers are not checking the bank accounts of their clients. How do they know they don't have money? How is it that you have two or 400, 500, 1,000 home care agencies in your marketplace and they're all still in business? How is that possible right? if people can't afford services? So my point is, is that in your dialogue, you might share a story or give an example of, you know, we were working with a client um, living in a mobile home park and we were able to tap into some resources like aid and attendance. And she actually also happened to have long-term care insurance. In fact, we've had multiple situations like that. So if you have clients that are looking for home care, these are different ways that they can pay for it. Boom, you busted the myth in advance, okay? So 
when you're having these conversations and you start to have patterns or see patterns, like same thing, when I'd go to a living room visit, I knew the myth was X, I would address the myth before the client had to say anything, okay? So that's my tip for the day. I hope that you guys can start to figure out how to use this in your business because when you learn how to bust those false myths or false belief patterns in your sales and marketing efforts, then will people take action. Then will they start to believe in what you're saying and what you're offering and they're more likely to move forward with whatever it is that you're doing, right? We're not making up stuff, we're speaking truth, but that's why they're called false belief patterns. When you understand that they are false belief patterns and you can help bust those myths, you're gonna get more progress in your business. So that's all I have. Um, here's to your next home care revenue breakthrough. We will see you on the next episode. Thanks so much. And if, guys, if you like this information, if this was a good like information for you, comment below, like it, um, let me know that this is stuff that you're interested in, okay? Talk to you next week, bye-bye.